Not only is Batman broke as fuck right now, he just lost the damn manor. That bitch got sold the fuck out. But he no longer has contingency plans for shit. He used to, as he says, but he not no more. The motherfucker lost everything. His home, his family, his body, all that shit. And y'all ain't gonna believe who the fuck bought the damn crib. Let's get into the first issue for this month for that Batman Catwoman the Gotham War. Batman, issue 137. And I'm not gonna lie, this shit was good as fuck. So these motherfuckers under me with the fucking orange and shit, they working for Selena. They was on this job for Selena. That's when you hear knuckles cracking from Batman as he come through and stop that shit. Beat they motherfucking ass. They talking about this motherfucker's relentless. He's possessed. Just out here beating the fuck out of motherfuckers. They tried to fucking hit his ass with the fear toxin. They said that shit didn't even fucking fit. He didn't even feel that shit. Didn't phase him. They said they would have sworn they heard his ass laughing and shit. So now they trying to figure out what the fuck we finna do for Batman. I mean with Batman. Selena was like we gonna distract his ass. We gonna uh, send his biggest mistake. Jason. Then we meet up with Batman as he's still up here beating the fuck out of motherfuckers. Look at his face over there. He ain't playing. He said the worst possible outcome for a bottom scrapper like you is putting yourself on my radar with his teeth. Like, that's when Tim Drake popped up on his ass. Like, hey, bro, you going hard as fuck, bro. He said, man, you ain't even fucking chilled out since you've been, uh, you done went through the fail safe shit, the red mask shit, and insomnia. You need to take this shit easy, bro. He said, fuck that. Roland Garner's dead. There's a child out here that's an orphan now. Well, Tim was like, that's horrible, is it? But the assault and murder rate is down. The numbers don't lie. We do our best to save everyone. I put radio the police to come pick up this uh, this criminal up. If I find out you help him get away, I'll arrest you myself as he leave. They're like, bro, this motherfucker's on a rampage. His ass is out of control. Then fucking or uh, Oracle was like, no, nah, I think it's the opposite. He's doing the this to be in control after being asleep for weeks. Not to mention flung about the damn multiverse. There's like, it's cool though. We got a fucking tracker on his ass. It's like we gonna lead him to where we need him at and shit and then fucking talk to his ass basically and Jason was like nah I ain't gonna do nothing too rash but we, we definitely gonna fight. Then we meet up with Mr. Pig right he told this dude to come in here which was the Mad Hatter and they come in into this uh big ass meeting with fucking all these motherfuckers you know who the fuck they is and they ass basically finna plot against Batman ass. Anyway, everybody in position, right, to write this place finna get on Batman ass. They they found out this damn location. It's like, here he come. So his ass come through the window. They pop his ass, but it wasn't him. It was a drone. That's when his ass come through. He said, look, this is done. And I'm giving you all the choice. Go home now. Start a new life. Otherwise, <laughs> motherfuckers ran up. So he got the beating they motherfucking ass. He said, yeah, these motherfuckers got better because of Selena. But they ain't the best. That's when Jason came out and shit. He got the fucking fighting with him and shit. He talking about some I created a mass murderer in Jason. Who knows how many murders Selena is creating. Jason was like, I'm sick of you being the grand arbiter of what's right and wrong. You never grow up after uh, your parents were killed. So you have the black and white outlook of a 10 year old. If you believe in Selena's plan, if you think one death is fine, if it stops more death, then shouldn't I kill you? Stop him, leave him alone. This fucking Tim get behind him. His ass kick his ass smooth the fuck up off himself. He says, Zora and I created failsafe to one day stop me, but he didn't even have to. I was already creating my failsafe. Them, my family. Nightwing walk in like, Batman, you need to take a step back. Bat Cassandra was like, or else. He said, no. This is when he said, Cassie will move first. <laughs> he shot the damn Gatlin at her ass. She was like, and she's not afraid to draw blood. Take her out quickly. Duke has powers. Next. <laughs> Kicked his ass. Stephanie, and she running up right here in the purple. He get these little smoke bomb things right here, right? Has no eye protection. Blinder, move quickly. You know their moves. You taught them their moves. So they think they know yours. But Nightwing run up. He like, this is the same. You can't. This motherfucker put his hand out and shit. And that shit created a fucking smoke. That's his fucking, uh, his damn robot hand. But they don't. Not anymore. And none of them are as used to the darkness as I am. As he fucking knock out both Nightwing and fucking. Well, he's still off on both they ass. Nightwing and Red uh, Hood. Nightwing is difficult to tag. But his offense is sloppy and... Oh, damn it! Lucky! Need to... Oh, fuck! Don't let them... Oh, do the window! Ah, oh, grappling gun gone! Bah! I fell on the motherfucking car! Red Hood jump out that motherfucking hole! He's like, new tricks been an old man! Damien came through, stole off on his ass with the motherfucking uh, brass knuckles! Fucked his damn face mask up! He said, you know how you almost respected you, Todd? You do what you uh, need to do to get shit done! It's just the wrong job! These motherfuckers come over the edge, they're like, where the fuck he go? He'd escape, his ass gone! In more ways than one, dick, what are we gonna do? 
He's like, uh, guys, who the fuck is this, though? So we go over to this fucking damn car, right? Then uh, these motherfuckers in the back seat and shit, they up there, they getting transported to Blackgate. That's why one of the guards turned into fucking Clayface and shit, right? Selena told his ass to stop. Then Selena got the call from her, her uh, this girl right here and told him, like, Batman came through and fucked everything up. What, what we gonna do? She was like, oh, fuck, and threw the damn phone down. And that's where you go meet old Batman. He's talking about, I'm tired, deep in my bones. Would they attack me in my home here in Brownstone? I like to think not, but then I realized I just did the same thing. Then fucking Damien got to talking about his damn Batman hand. He's like, I want one of them motherfuckers too. He's like, nah, you don't want one of these motherfuckers. He said, that hand that the other Batman gave me, it makes me stronger, better. That's when he got a damn ring at the doorbell. And it was dude right here letting them know that uh, they had to sell his other house to fucking keep this building that he's staying in right now, which was the manor, the Bruce Manor, his family home. So he takes off in the motherfucking Batmobile back to the crib. He says, I have the contingencies and plans to stop things like this from happening. I, I used to. All this upheaval from my life, my finances, I must have missed something. Or someone, something is manipulating behind the scenes, taking Wayne Manor from me as a distraction. Selena, somebody bought the manor from the bank, my family home. Will she go that far? And then you hear, she would. That was Zora and I. He was telling Batman, like, look, we don't give a fuck who the fuck up there drinking tea. We can still use the cave. They ain't got to know shit about it. He was like, shut up, yo ass in the cave, motherfucker, where you belong? He said, yeah, of course, of course, I'm in the cave. This is when Batman said, he's in the cage. I'm in control. I've, I've, I've lost everything. My home, my family, my body is failing. All I have left is the mission, being Batman, being right in my heart. I won't let go of this place. I, the clock entrance, it's opening, which means someone's here. I feel it in the air. Pardon me. I don't mean to be rude, but... You're in my home. The name's Vandal Savage, and I presume you're Bruce Wayne, and this shit gonna be continued in that Catwoman issue 57, which comes out on the 19th of this month. I'm really enjoying this goddamn Batman Catwoman Gotham War. I'm not gonna lie, I got a feeling that Batman finna fucking die or something real bad finna happen to his ass. What y'all think?